Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you how you can create a Facebook post from any 10 and that post will have the text and the image accompanied, accompanied with the text. So in my previous video, I talked about how you can set up the Graph API node and that involved going to developers.facebook.com to create an application and integrate it with NA10. In this video, I just want to focus on the process or on the uh, configurations that you can use to make a post that includes an image. So to get started, first of all, you have a workflow created and I'm going to create a manual trigger for this. Once you've done that, include the Facebook Graph API. And for this one, you need to have the access token. To get this access token, all you need to do is to go in a nutshell. You have an application created. You have an application created. In my case, this is the N18 bot. If you want to know how we've created this, then you can uh, refer other tutorial. I also share the link in the uh, description below. But once you have the application created, you are going to uh, Graph API Explorer, which is this page. And then you have to select the application in question right here and then generate the token for the permissions. We added the pages manage post permission. And then once you've done that, you need to copy the page the page access token after copying that page access token let me just copy this you go back to your n18 workflow and then you have to paste it right here and then you save it will show that it is connected if it is green here it has connected once you have done that that's where we are starting uh, for this video so we want to post an image together with we want to post text together with an image to facebook so what we're going to do is here we're going to change this to post and then here the node should be me in our previous video the one i showed you how to connect with graph api we used the feed edge but in this case we are going to use photos so with this there are two ways. Number one, you can provide a binary file, but in our case, I want us to use a URL. So this has to be an open URL in a way that it's public, uh, publicly accessible. Uh, so for that, I have this uh, unsplash image. Let's just search for another one. So let's say I'm going to use the uh, let's use the end of this. This one, I'm going to copy the image address, come to N8N, add a query parameter here, and I'm going to call this URL, paste the link, add another parameter. For this one, I'm going to call it message. The value is going to be hello. This is a beautiful flower. All right, that should work. And then I'm going to execute. So it says we have a problem here. Um, the version, let's use the latest version and try to execute again. right you can see that we've created a post on facebook so to confirm this i'm going to go to my facebook account again and let's see if we have the post and here you can see it says hello this is a beautiful flower and it has the image and here it also shows the one who published in this case we used um, the application that i used is called n18 bot so yeah that's how you can post to facebook automatically using n18 and then another thing that i wanted to talk about is 
if you want to do the same but you don't want to post together with an image then this has to change to feed and you're going to just remove this so i can remove this and change this to feed and if i execute this again you'll see that i'll have a new post and it's only going to have um the text so let's refresh this and this is our post right that's how you can uh, create a facebook post that contains text and image so all these posts that you see here uh, they contain an image and text that's how you do it with na10 in another video i'm going to talk about how you can apply this and automate some of the things or posting to facebook using na10 so if you're interested in NA10 tutorials, then feel free to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, until next time, have a great time.